All right, so we are recording. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Um, my throat's been a little dry, so just want to stay oh, hydrated. But I feel weird. I think, um, I think it's been like two weeks since I posted a team call. And I'm a little sad that no one's getting on and it's the end of the year and it's expected, I guess. But um, I don't know if someone hopped on. I don't think so. Okay. So let me screen share and we'll go ahead and get started. All right. So... Uh, welcome to the Rice Tribe team call tonight. Today is Monday, Mon Monday. <laughs> Monday, December 14th, 2015. We are like two weeks away from the end of the year, and it is crazy how fast this year has just gone by. And I feel like as the older we get, something that we just always say, right? We're like, where did the year go? Oh my gosh. But I will tell you that since becoming a coach and since changing my life um, with this business opportunity in Beachbody, like my life has changed. Like it's crazy how much more I want to get done, how much more I actually get done because of all the skills um, that I've learned, you know, on how to run a business and just, I've, you know, it's cool how we're equipped with like life skills and it's just, it's been such an awesome experience. But um I've learned to not just let time pass by. Um, so it's just nice that I can pass that on to you guys as our team and to really help you have, um, you know, a successful life and to help you actually reach your goals and give you step-by-step -step, um, stuff to do, you know, I guess directions so that you can actually reach your goals. Excuse me. Um, so yeah, so I'm guessing I'm just going to go ahead and record this and I would have loved to have had everyone on so I could talk to you guys and see your face. I miss you guys. Um, or should I say girls, but, um, it is what it is. And the best thing that I can do as your leader is just lead the way. And, you know, I said I was going to do a team call and I'm going to do it. I'm sorry that it's a little bit late, but my son woke up, so I had to go back and put him to sleep. But no more missing team calls. I'm going to do whatever it takes. I know that I'm working full time now, but I'm going to do whatever it takes to stay consistent. Okay. So, um, I have not listened to the national wake up call today. I actually, um, started a new audio book, uh, on leadership because I'm really, really trying to grow as a leader. And that is my main focus for, um, the, the year 2016 next year. I really, really want to dig deep into leadership. Um, because I want to raise up other leaders on our team. So um, on my way to work and on my way back to work, I listened to uh, something on leadership, but I'm already planning on my way to work tomorrow morning. I'm going to listen to the National Wake Up Call. If you guys don't know who this is, this is Raina Odell. I think she just moved from Ohio. I think she was living in Ohio. She just moved from Ohio all the way to California. She lives close to San Diego. Um, she was actually at our last Super Saturday for me um, in the Orange County area. And she was there. I got to see her in person. And this girl is awesome. She is just so down to earth, very blunt. And I love her YouTube channel. Um, this girl does not hide any secrets. She has all of her training, everything she does like on YouTube. And I love that because I just love how she's so straight to the point and she's very blunt and some people don't like that, but I do. I'm just kind of like, don't give me the fluff, you know, tell me what to do and I'll do it. Um, so I'm excited to listen to this call. I don't know if any of you have listened to this call, but you know, I'm going, I, I've been, co I've been a coach for three years and I don't, I don't miss national wake up calls. Okay. I am very serious about my business and I hope you are too, but these calls are just, I'm, you might be like, oh my gosh, Jackie talks about this all the time. Well, it's because it's, I'm supposed to, okay. <laughs> They're really important and it's just a nice way to stay engaged and um, up to date with corporate and stuff that's going on in the beach body world. And it's just, it's so awesome that corporate does this. They don't have to do this for us. Okay. But every week they choose top leaders in the company, people that are making a lot of money and have, they're growing their teams really fast. They're seeing success and they're helping a lot of people. Um, they're willing to have them come on the call for 20 to 30 minutes. And they're giving us basically their best top training tips. 
So I'm excited to listen to this call tomorrow and I hope that you schedule this call in um, sometime this week. Okay, so Super Saturday. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's going to be Super Saturday again. So Super Saturday is coming up on January 9th. January 9th. I think that's a Sunday, but here is the link. Um, some of you do not live in Orange County or Southern California area, but that is not an excuse for you not to get to Super Saturday, especially if you're a new coach watching this. You need to get to a Super Saturday. When I first became a coach, um, I took someone to sorry, I'm just trying to lower my voice because I don't want the baby to wake up again. Um, okay, so my coach, Lindsay, is from South Dakota, okay, from South Dakota. So I could have easily sat as a new coach, and I actually thought of this too because when she was in South, I mean, she still lives there, but she was growing a big local team, and here I was in Southern California by myself, and she was always throwing events like this with her local team, and I was like, well, I, you know, I can't go to Super Saturday because my coach lives in South Dakota. No. She asked me one time, I just once, she asked me, what, what Super Saturday are you going to? And I didn't respond back to that message because I was afraid to tell her I don't want to go to Super Saturday because you don't live here <laughs> and you have a local team and I don't know anyone here. But instead of doing that, I researched and I Googled um, a Super Saturday near me and I found one in Orange County. I took my very first coach, Jasmine, with me, and we went, okay, we were two new coaches, like, literally, I had just signed up. I signed up on November 30th, and the first Super Saturday was in January, okay, so it had only been a few weeks. I still felt, I was scared shitless, okay, I really was, I was like, what am I getting into, like, oh my gosh, what kind of event, what kind of event is this? I didn't know what to expect, even though Lindsay told me, and I saw videos and all that stuff, and the Super Saturday was actually at someone's house. So there was like 15 of us, but honestly, it was the best experience ever. It was very intimate, but it was so nice to, to finally like surround myself like with people, like real people, like in, 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 like in person and not just, you know, cause I was talking to my coach, Lindsay, I would talk to her on the phone or over the computer and on our team page, but it was so nice to finally meet like real beach body coaches. And so that's why I think it's so important for us, for you guys, um, wherever you're at, I don't want you to use that excuse like, oh, you have a local team, Jackie, and it's just so much more fun that you guys get to go together. No, that's, don't use that as an excuse. Get out of your comfort zone, look for a local Super Saturday and go, okay? Meet new people, network with other coaches that are in your area. That's awesome. You never know what that could bring in the future. You guys could throw events together. You never know. Okay, so step out of your comfort zone. Make sure you sign up. Um, for the most part, you do have to pay. I think it's like 15, 20 bucks, depending on what kind of event you go to. I usually go, you know, Southern California is like really populated. So there's a lot of people here. So our events are always really big. So they have to get it at hotels. So I technically always pay like 15, 20 bucks, but it's so worth it because we get to do a live workout. I get to hear training from top coaches that are like, you know, from my area. Um, corporate comes out. Carl Deichler, our CEO, is actually coming out to um, the Super Saturday that I'm going to, which is exciting. It's not like it happens all the time, but he is going to go, so I'm going to make it a priority to be there. And I'm going to get to try um, the new Shakeology flavor, the coffee latte. They're going to have that there, and I know they're going to have that nationwide at different Super Saturdays. So figure it out. Find out where your local Super Saturday is going to be at. Use this link tbbcoach411.com slash super saturday dash saturday slash and find a event near you well okay so <laughs> i guess i didn't realize i mean if you're if you're in a coach and you're just kind of like what is super saturday i mean i kind of already talked about it they usually have a live workout they give top training and you get to watch this video that corporate makes and um, they keep us up to date with like any product launches. I'm sure they're going to talk about the Master's Hammer and Chisel because that was just released. I'm sure they're going to talk about Shakeology, the new Shakeology flavor that's coming out. I think it's coming out in February. Um, I'm not too sure. Um, they might be talking about the end of the year, what to expect for the new year. So it's just it's something that you get to hear. Like you get to be the first person to hear that. Okay, coaches that don't go get to hear, you know, get to hear all the good news and exciting news after. So it's just nice to, to be in that, you know, to surround yourself with that community, like in real life. So I really recommend you go. Okay, so you may or may not have seen me post about this, 
but um, I hope it never comes off as me bragging. Honestly, it's taken me three years as a coach to finally earn my success club trip. So every year, um, all coaches can qualify for the success club trip and they usually have it in the springtime. Earlier this year, the success club trip was in Disney World. Um, so a lot of coaches that earned it last year um, got to go this spring to, oh no, this, oh, it was in Cancun, I'm sorry. Earlier this spring, they went to Cancun. They actually stayed at the Moon Palace. Um, I think they were there for like five nights, all-inclusive resort. Like if you earned it, Beachbody paid for everything. All you have to pay for is your flight. Um, so honestly, it's, it's so worth it. But this year, I really, really buckled down. And you have 12 months to earn your trip. So the reason why I'm sharing this now is because we literally have two weeks until the end of the year. Okay, the minute... It's January 1st. You, your success club points that you earn every single month go towards you qualifying and earning your success club trip with Beachbody. I don't know what it's going to be next year, but at Super Saturday on January 9th, they announced the new trip. They announced the new success club trip and the new top 10 trip. Okay, this year, I think they took everyone to Paris, like the top 10 coaches in the company. They took them to Paris. Next year, I think they're taking them to Bora Bora. So the top coaches that earned top 10 this year, next year in the summer, they go to Bora Bora. Okay, like how freaking cool is that? Um, so on January 9th, they're going to announce 2017's success club trip. So meaning all of 2016, you have a whole freaking year to earn a free trip for you and a guest. Okay. Like how cool is that? Like I have never been on a vacation like this. Me and my husband have never taken like a real vacation like this. And I had 12 months to earn this and I earned this in nine months because I worked my ass off for this and I'm so excited. And I just want this for our team more than anything. Like it's, it's one thing to go on these trips and like, yes, they're so amazing and exciting and fun. But honestly, it's so much more fun when you can, when you, when you have your team with you, um, you know, going to summit and stuff and having a few coaches with me, it's been surreal. Like it's, it's cool to be like, wow, like I'm not the only one here. Like I have a few people from our team here. And so every year my goal is to get more and more of us at, at summit and at our success club trip you know, super Saturdays and stuff like that. So get in that mindset. Okay. Start, start preparing yourself for this. Okay. I want you to earn this free trip. As long as you hit success club five or 10 every single month, you automatically qualify and you will earn the success club trip for 2017. And you might even be able to earn it before the 12 months. Okay. So get in that mindset, start thinking about that. Like I said, they're going to announce the new um, success club trip for next year on January 9th. So that's why you want to go to Super Saturday. Don't you want to find out where they're going to take us? So I just wanted to give you a little heads up. If you want to learn more about um, the Success Club trip for next spring, kind of where we're going on the cruise and stuff. And if you want to learn a little bit more about how Beachbody gets down and stuff like that and all the inclusives and stuff like that, that they give us, um, you can go to www.ssbeachbody.com. Okay, another exciting thing I want you guys to start thinking ahead of time. Um, okay, so Coach Summit for next year in Nashville is sold out. But, but this year, earlier this summer, it was sold out, right? I was on the wait list. But a few weeks, no, I want to say a few months before Summit, they opened up like 5,000 new spots and everyone was able to go. And me and Sarah were able to go. So you need to put your butt on that wait list. I don't want you to use that as an excuse. Like, oh, well, I'm not going to go because it's sold out. No, sign up for the wait list and you'll get off. I promise you. Um, again, just ask yourself, how serious are you about your business? Are you building a business or are you building a hobby? Or are you just doing this as a hobby? And if you are, that's fine. But from what I know from the from the majority of you on our team, you're in this to win this, okay? You're in this to build a legitimate business. So you need to take events very serious. If you want the people that you're bringing on to, into, onto your team to attend events, you need to be the leader and you need to be leading from the front and you need to be at events, okay? I, can, I would never ask you guys to go to a Super Saturday or Coach Summit if I wasn't going myself. I have never missed Coach Summit. Um, and I think I missed one super Saturday, 
Um, but other than that, I have not missed a super Saturday. One time I even drove to Vegas for an event because that's how serious I am about my business. Like these are business building events. Yes, they're fun, but at the end of the day, they are business trips and they're very, they're worth it. They're worth every penny. It's an investment into your business. It's an investment into your growth. So with that being said, if you don't know what coach summit is coach summit is honest, it's the biggest corporate event that we have once a year. Okay, so it's only once a year. So that's why it's so worth it to go. We're seven months away and I want you to start thinking ahead, okay? Because time flies, it really does. You may be thinking, oh, it's till next summer. I got all this time, I'm gonna kick my feet up. No, get yourself on the wait list. Start planning, preparing, and start saving. Okay, start saving for that plane ticket. Work a little bit harder on your beach body business. If you already have a job, great. You have a second source of income. Work a little bit harder and use your beach body income to pay for this trip. Um, I haven't said anything yet, but I think I should. I don't know if it'll motivate you guys, but I would like a lot of us to go next year. I really would. I saw a lot of teams last year um, rent houses, and I I rent I I didn't rent a house, but I stayed in the house with like. 20 other coaches, but they weren't on our team. They were on like my upline team, which is nice too, but I want us, like our little team to grow and I want us to travel together. I want all of us to be at this event. So I don't know, I'm, I mean, it's to me right now, it feels like a dream. Um, it would be so nice to be able to rent a house and like have 15 of us there, like our team. Um, to me, that sounds like a dream right now. And I think I'm going to put that on my dream board. It's a few months away, but I think that would be so exciting. And it would be just the perfect experience for us to bond and to really get to know each other. And uh, it just makes me excited. I would love to just be able to rent like a small house in Nashville for us and all of us stay there instead of staying in a hotel. And I don't want to be the only one at Coach Summit again, okay? My first year, I put it on a credit card, but it was the best decision that I had ever made. Like it, it changed my mindset. I learned so much and I, it just made this business so much more real for me. And it, it fired me up and like, it made me realize like why I'm really doing this. And I haven't missed a coach summit since then this year in Nashville. It was freaking crazy. Like I loved it so much and they just get better every year. And, um, my first summit, there was like 5,000 coaches Last year, there was 9,000 coaches in Vegas, and this year, there was 25,000, and next year, it's expected to be at 50,000 people. Um, so we, like, totally took over Nashville earlier this year, and it was just so much fun. Like, why wouldn't you want to go, right? So, hey. <laughs> I'm over here talking to myself, but I'm recording, so. Okay. Um, let me see. I'm going to hold on. Put you on mute. Uh, what happened to my screen? Uh oh. Oh, right here. Okay. So, yeah. So, if you want more information on Coach Summit and how to sign up for the wait list, just go to that link www.coachsummit2016.com. That um, website's going to give you all the information that you need as far as like, you know, hotels, lodging, travel, the agenda, the speakers, FAQ, ticket pricing, all that stuff. But please, 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 please just get yourself on the wait list. I don't want you guys last minute saying, oh, I didn't get on the wait list. And no, like you guys need to take this series, make it a priority and sign up on, for the wait list. Okay. So this is kind of what, like the meat of the call and I think I, I talked about it a few weeks ago, but I think I just kind of dabbled in it and you know, it's, I just, you know, on November 30th, it was my three year anniversary as a coach. And I just started thinking like, you know, everything that's happened and like everything that I've learned and everything that I want to share with you guys. And I just want to tell you that, you know, when I talk about the resolution effect, it's real. Okay. Like it is hands down, legitimately real. Like it exists. Um, you could do your research on it. It's not just in Beachbody. It's the, res it's the resolution effect like worldwide, you know, and basically what that means, it just means that, you know, after New Year's come January 2nd, everyone in the world has a resolution. They want to better their lives. They want to quit smoking. They want to quit drinking. They want to start exercising. They want to feel better. They want to sleep more. They want to read more. They want to do this. And they want to do that. And they want to stop doing this. It's just something that happens worldwide. Okay, so I want you to start thinking right now. 
when you go to the mall or maybe you're getting something in the mail, maybe you're getting a lot of emails from stores, right? What are they doing? They are marketing. They're marketing like like a boss right now. You're probably getting tons of emails for any subscriptions that you have from any of your favorite stores, um, whether it's Macy's, Nordstrom, um, a jewelry store, or uh, Target, or Bed Bath & Beyond. Maybe you get a lot of magazines. Maybe you're getting a lot of, um, maybe maybe even a few weeks ago, you were, part of, you were probably already getting magazines in the mail for like Christmas decorations and, and how to make Christmas cookies and all this stuff. So companies, they know that this is coming. They know that the resolution effect is coming. So what do they do? They start upping up their marketing. They want to be in your face. They want to be in the forefront of your mind because we're so dang busy with like the holidays and buying gifts and all that stuff. So they're constantly sending us stuff and you're just kind of like, you know, oh, what's this and what's that? So you get that email and you get that magazine and you hear that on the radio and you see that commercial. Um, it's an, it's not a, like, how would I say it? Like, that's why it's so important right now. Now is the time to meet, to be the most consistent ever because honestly, like you may be getting no likes, you may be getting no comments, no messages like me. I have seen a huge dip in my social media. And it's not because I'm not consistent. It's just because people are busy and I know they are, but I know they're still watching. Okay. A lot of people are scared to like hit like or comment on my pictures that have to do with health and fitness because they're not happy with where they're at right now, which is totally fine. But I know they're watching. I just know they are. I, I've been doing this for three years. I know people are watching. If you are consistent right now, people are going to trust you when they're ready on January 2nd. They're going to come to you. On January 2nd, people are already going to make up their mind. Honestly, the day after Christmas, people are going to be like, all right, I'm going to get a personal trainer or I'm going to get a gym membership or I'm going to go hit up that girl that's on Facebook that's always posting about this program and she's always working out at home and she makes it look like, like, she makes it look like fun. I'm going to go message her because I'm ready. So I know that right now it's hard to just stay consistent. And even me, I've been struggling and I shared about it. <laughs> I've been struggling and getting in my workouts, but now is the time to share that. Now is the time to put a little bit more effort into your workouts. Now is the time to actually get up earlier to get your workout in, stay up a little bit later, meal prepping, do what you have to do, but be in people's faces, share that on social media, share, tell, like show people that, Hey, you know, whenever you're ready after new year's, I want, I want to be that person that you come to. I want to be the person that helps you with your health and fitness. But if you're not showing people now that you can be consistent, they're not going to come to you. They're going to go to 24 hour fitness or LA fitness or wherever. And they're going to go get an expensive personal trainer and they're not going to come to you. But me last year, um, around this time I was pregnant and my business grew by 200%. Like my business doubled after new year's and I was pregnant. Okay. Like pregnant. <laughs> and I was being consistent. I, I did not, I I'm honest about this. And I shared this on social media. I didn't work out while I was pregnant, but I did eat healthy. I was using my 21 and fix containers and I was drinking Shakeology. I was walking when I was pregnant, but I just didn't want to work out. I mean, I'll be honest about that. I just didn't want to like lift weights and stuff like that. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't, but it was just a personal decision. And I just didn't want to push myself that much, but I did do my best to lead a healthy lifestyle. And I share that on social media and come January 2nd, honestly, like after new year's, like I had people coming to me all the way up until May from January to May, my checks like doubled and my business just it doubled. And it's because of all the hard work that I started putting in all the way from September, September, October, November, December, things got super slow. People stopped liking my pictures. People stopped responding to my messages. I wasn't getting interest in my challenge groups, but I, I stayed consistent and I, I was still running groups and I was inviting people, even though people were like, Oh, I'm too busy giving me all these excuses, but I was so consistent and I was rewarded for that. So after Jan like after new year's, like I had people coming to me left and right, but because I worked my ass off for it, they didn't just come out of nowhere. They didn't just fall into my lap. I was planting those seeds. So now is the time to plant many, many seeds. So what do I mean that by that? That means reaching out to people and being courageous and actually reaching out to that one person you've been wanting to talk to for like three, four months. Plant that seed. And what I mean by planting that seed is just reach out to them and start a conversation, um, start building your relationship. That's planting a seed in their head. Because when you're doing that behind the scenes and you're building that relationship with them and you're asking them about their life and asking them questions and you're being interested in them, you're planting that seed and you're nurturing it by 
building a relationship with them so that when you're posting public invites, you know, join my challenge group and join my free day cleaning group and the 21 day fix and whatever, you know, you're nurturing that seed behind it. You're nurturing that seed behind the scenes, but they're seeing you publicly post that and then they're going to be interested and then they're going to join you. So that's why it's important to plant a lot of seeds. You want to think like a farmer, plant a lot of seeds so that you have a big harvest. But during that time, which is this time right now, you're nurturing them, you're watering that seed, you're giving it sunlight, you're talking to it, you're loving on it, right? And so come harvest time, which is New Year's, you're going to have a big harvest if you work really hard now. Um, so now is not the time to slow down. It is not. I can't stress this enough. Like what you do now determines like the next five months, the first five months of, 2000, of 2016 for your business. Like I'm telling you, like, I want this for you guys so bad. Like I want you guys, I want you guys to have success in your business. Like I want you guys to grow your business. I want you guys to be proud of what you're growing and building. I want you to be like, man, like Beachbody is actually helping me pay my bills. Beachbody is actually helping me pay off my debt. Like I love this opportunity. Like I want you guys to see that success. But what I'm telling you is like, you have to work hard for it. So right now is not the time to slow down. I don't want... Right now is not the time to not post. Right now is the time to share and to talk to people and to get do something to get people motivated. If it's a free group, if it's sharing a healthy recipe or like some Christmas dish, whatever it be, like think think like the people right now. People are stressed and they're busy, so you need to be a problem solver. How can you solve someone's problem? If it's someone right now, if it's another mom that has three kids and the holidays are coming. You know, how can you solve some of our problems? Post some tips on your social media. Like, okay, you know, it's the holidays. Maybe you don't have an hour to work out, but maybe you have 25 minutes. Find a 25 minute workout on YouTube, something for free. Post that on your social media. Share free tips. Solve people's problems. Um, so now is the time to follow up like a boss. Go through the whole past year, however long you've been coaching, and start following up with people. Make, make it a goal to follow up with three to five people every day. Make a list, write their name down, follow up, and just be like, hey, how have you been? How was your Thanksgiving? And I, 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 it's so simple to start a conversation with someone. I've just been saying, hey, how was your weekend? Are you done with Christmas shopping? People love talking about them Christmas shopping. So just follow up with them so that you have that relationship so it's strengthened comp, you know, so that when you post about your challenge groups for the new year and you're inviting people, it's easier to get people into your challenge groups because you're talking to them because maybe it's been six months since you've talked to them or five months. So that's why it's important to follow up with them, follow up with them on whatever's going on in their life. Um, so what did I put here? I know you're busy with the holidays, but when you're ready to get started after New Year's, message, message me, I'll be your go-to person. So that's just kind of the attitude that I want you guys to have in that mindset. Just, just I, I guess, accept it. People are busy. And, you know, but just carry this attitude. I know you're busy with the holidays, but when you're ready to get started after the new year's message me, I want to be that go-to person. I want to be the one that helps you get started. So I'll be here when you're ready. Let people know I will be here when you're ready. It's that simple. Okay. So I had talked about, um, I think I put on our little team page picture about goals. So I know that I've kind of talked a lot already and hopefully you're excited right now, but I want you to start thinking cumulatively of, you know, 2016. What does your 2016 year look like? So really start to visualize what do you want to achieve in 2016? And it doesn't have to be with just Beachbody in this business. Like I want you guys to get in that habit of like creating goals for yourself and actually doing like step-by-step -step daily activities that's actually going to help you reach the goals. Learn about this past year. You know, think back to, the, you know, 2014 when you were setting goals for 2015. Ask yourself, did you hit most of those goals? You know, why or why not? What could you have done differently? What do you want to do differently in 2016? What do you need to do differently so that you reach the goals that you were supposed to this year? So I encourage you to um, start a dream board. This is a dream board. You can, if you're like 
that pen and paper person and you just have to print out pictures or you want to like cut out stuff from magazines, that's totally fine. Um, I like making mine online because it's just easier for me to like find pictures that I like. Um, obviously these, this, you know, this picture I just found it on Google. So I'm not saying that these are like my goals or anything, but you know, cause you see like this big ass house there and like money and cars and stuff like that. And that doesn't motivate everyone, but this is, this is somewhat of a dream board. And so I want to encourage you and I, I want you to be inspired and I want you to think bigger. Um, you know, a lot of times we put like this mental cap on ourselves. And um, we have so much potential. And the only way that our potential can be like untapped is by reading personal development, growing ourselves, going to events, learning from successful people, um, you know, surrounding ourselves with people who are like minded, surrounding ourselves with people who already have what we want, which is, you know, successful people. Um, so I really just want you to think about that. Think, make some time if you like for me like I honestly have to do it like late at night or early in the morning when like no one is awake and I love to just sit there and like silence and I close my eyes and I start visualizing what I want my year to look like and I did this when I was pregnant and I'll be honest a lot of the things that I visualized a lot of things came to fruition um, but because I, I visualized it every day it was on my on my dream board my goals and stuff like that but I take, I, I did daily activities and I, I daily steps that I was doing that eventually was the compound effect. And I was able to reach a lot of my goals. I didn't reach all of my goals. Um, but it works like it really does. You can't walk blindly, um, in life or in this business. So visualize what you want your year to look, your year to look like, think about your goals. You know, you think about your health goals, think about your fitness goals, think about your business goals, your family goals. What is it that you want to achieve? And if you want to share that with us, I'd be more than happy to, to give you my feedback. And I'd love for you to share your goals with us. You can post if you make like this dream, um, this dream board. Um, if you make it, you can post it on the team page. I'll share mine in a few weeks. I'm still working on it. But it, don't be scared. I mean, if anything, it's going to hold you accountable, right? Right. Shalene Johnson talks about this all the time. If you don't share a goal, um, I don't know exactly what she says, but she just talks about the importance of like saying it out loud and putting it out to the public because it, it raises your, your accountability level, right? Um, so that is pretty much all I have for you guys today. Um, a lot, a lot of info but just be consistent. Like my main message for today is to be consistent. Do not give up. Allow yourself to dream bigger. Work hard, okay? Um, nothing is going to be handed to you. And if you're already working hard, how can I put this nicely? Like sometimes we think we're already working really hard and we may be, but we're capable of doing more because there's somebody out there that's busier than us and they're working harder. Um, so I want all of you guys to be successful. I want nothing more than to see our, our whole team at Coach Summit. I want to see you guys going to Super Saturday events. I want to see you guys growing your own team. I want to see you guys bringing on new coaches. Um, at the end of the day, that's the, that's what this is about. If you're bring, if if we as a team are bringing on new people, like we're still changing their lives. We're we're introducing them to a business opportunity that can change their lives. Okay, had Lindsay never shared with me what Beachbody did for her, I would have never earned that cruise for me and my husband. Like, we did not go on a honeymoon because we couldn't afford it. And so I worked my ass off for nine months with this little business opportunity, and I earned myself um, a free trip. Okay, like, that is mind-blowing, and that's huge to me. Like, it makes me emotional. Um, had she not shared that with me, and so I want to be able to share that with other people. So I'm talking to people about it. I don't want to keep this to myself. It's, it's like a gift. You know, God bless you with this gift. God bless you with this gift and you need to go share it with people. Stop being fearful and, you know, use the training that you have. We have tons and tons of training. And sometimes I think we have too much training that you're just kind of like, well, I don't know where to start. But that's kind of a good thing, right? Because we have, we have literally training on everything. Anything you, you want to learn, we have training on. I bet you anything. Um, so that is my message for you guys tonight. Thank you for hopping on, Desiree. And if you're watching the recording, I hope you enjoyed this call. 
and let's make it a great week and we will keep in contact um, in our team page this week and i'll see you guys next week okay i'm gonna start recording now